The F-18A supports two iterative looping instructions. Both of them have an induction variable in R. These can be nested, of course, because R is just a member of the stack after all. But looking at the primitive operator, the one which is most familiar to us from conventional programming environments or, or conventional hardware is next. Next is a jump instruction like the ones that were discussed earlier. <clears throat> it, it can appear in the same slots, it has the same reach. However, what it does is to check R and decide whether to branch back decrementing R or to destroy R and move on. What next does, then, is to look at R. If R is zero, the loop is over, and R is popped, and we continue execution after next. If R is not zero when next executes, R is decremented by one, and next branches to its destination address, thus forming a zero relative counted loop. That's as conventional as you can get most computers have something like that. Uh, next costs about five nanoseconds because it's a jump instruction. However, we have something that isn't present on most computers, if any, and that is Micronext. Micronext allows a loop to be written inside of a single instruction word that is fetched once at the beginning of the loop and is not fetched again until the loop is over with. The setup is the same. The number of iterations minus one is stored into R. The behavior of Micronext in terms of interpretation of R is the same as it is with Next, which is to say, when we get to the slot that has Micronext in it, we look at R. If R is zero, we're done. We pop R and we move on. If we are not done, we decrement R by one, and instead of jumping somewhere, we resume executing slot zero of that instruction word, which is still in the instruction register, saving ourselves any instruction fetches during the loop. Now, Micronext, which nominally takes about 2.4 nanoseconds, can be coded by itself in slot zero, and that becomes a timing loop with a resolution of 2.4 nanoseconds. Or, it can appear in slot one with some garden variety opcode here in slot zero. In that case, we have about 1.4 nanoseconds for that opcode, and about 2.4 for the Micronext, which brings us to about 3.8 nanoseconds, for a loop on one instruction. Other opcodes can be strung out here. The Micronext can appear in any of the four opcode positions and will simply branch logically back to the slot zero of the same instruction word every time it iterates. When Micronext finishes and R has been popped, execution continues with the slot immediately following Micronext. <coughs> 